Here we're going to look at three important glands of the endocrine system. The thyroid, parathyroid, and adrenal glands. You can see our thyroid and parathyroid are located very close in proximity to one another in the throat region. And then our adrenal glands are located on top of our both left and right kidney. So starting first with the thyroid gland, where it lies just below the Adam's apple in front of the neck. You can see it located here and highlighted right there. It's two most important hormones are thyroxin, which is, increases the metabolic rate and promotes growth, and it contains iodine. Lack of iodine can, in the diet can cause goiters, which we're going to take a look at. So thyroxin, if we don't, is looking for the iodine, it contains iodine. If there's a lack of iodine, this is going to swell up and get quite large and then result in a goiter. Calcitonin is the other um, hormone. That's important, and that stimulates calcium deposition in bone, puts calcium into bones, calcitonin. That goiter that I mentioned, iron deficiency causes um, the thyroid to enlarge. That tries to produce the hormone of thyroxin, and it, it, it getting larger can ultimately look like this, and this is an extreme case. Now, where do we get iodine in our diet? A lot of times in salt, we'll see what's called iodized salt. And those small amounts, those trace amounts of iodine located in there can help prevent um, a goiter from forming to keep the um, thyroid gland its normal size. Another hormone is the parathyroid gland, and this is one that's located, like I said, in close proximity to the thyroid gland. And there's four small glands we see here, one, two, three, four, that are attached to the thyroid, and they produce the parathyroid hormone, typically abbreviated PTH one of only two hormones essential for survival. It acts as a fail-safe mechanism ensuring calcium levels never fall too low. Regulating calcium is very important. I have another uh, video series on that. And this is kind of that fail-safe hormone. It's that hormone preventing it from getting too low. If calcium gets too low uh, in the body, that can easily cause death to occur. Because calcium ions are key for muscle contractions. It's their main part. And remember that your heart is a form of a muscle. When levels are low, PTH stimulates osteoclast cells to break down the bone matrix, ensuring that that 99% of calcium you have reserved in your bones, ensuring that 1% is always present in your circulatory system. This will cause a raise in calcium levels in the blood. The adrenal glands, um, you can see them located here, but the left and the right, uh, are two glands located just above each kidney. They're composed of two parts, the medulla, which is the inner core, you see here, and this is responsible for adrenaline and norepinephrine. This releases in times of stress to simulate rapid deployment of body fuel. And then there's the cortex, which is the outer shell, as we see here, and that is cortisol. That stimulates carbohydrate metabolism and reduces inflammation. Um, Aldosterone is also important for stimulating the kidney uptake of sodium and other ions from the urine. Remember, our kidneys are doing uh, excretion and also retention of certain ions. This is the other hormone that's absolutely essential for survival. So we have a couple essential for survival hormones, and that's the other one. As I mentioned, there were two. Hopefully this is helpful to understand some of the glands of our very important endocrine system.